Wanderers take the field at the Manor Road ground, Headington. Led by some of their fans, out come the Headington 11, the team that's shaken the football forecasters by becoming the only non-league club left in the FA Cup's fourth round. Out in the centre of the pitch, rival captains Moyer and Ramshaw meet, and Bolton's mascot does the honours as well. There's one more ritual to be gone through before the battle starts, the toss, and Headington is to kick off. The referee Pickles from Bradford gives the OK, and the match is on. Hiddington's ground has recently had a facelift. Four new stands have been built, and just as well. A record crowd of 16,500 have come for this needle match. Now Hiddington's John Crichton takes the ball towards the Bolton goal. Ball gets it from Crichton, and gets things moving in the opposite direction. Nat Lofthouse has it. He cracks it towards the goal, but a good chance is missed. Goalie Ansel sends it away, but not for long. Wheeler heads it, but this time Headington managed to steer it out of danger. But Headington can't get past goalie Hansen, who has the situation well in hand. Hansen's clearance reaches Bolton's captain Moyer, whose shot bounces off a player for a corner. Harry takes the corner. Duncan and Moyer scramble for possession, but Wheeler races in, taps it over to Lofthouse, who steers past them for goal number one. Now it's up to Headington to even things up, but not just yet. Bolton are on the attack again. With the sort of football that put them in last year's cup final, they're giving the gallant Headington boys a hard time. Goalie Ansel waits anxiously as Parry takes a shot, and it's in the net again. Bolton two up. Headington kick off once more. They're playing a darn good game today, but they're up against what is without any doubt one of the finest teams in the country. The hard as iron pitch isn't any help either. Headington get a corner, looks like a chance. Left winger Maskell finally gets to it, but it's still no go. Now the mighty Lofthouse tries a raid, but this time Duncan, Headington's inside left, gets it away. Headington United have been built up in the last five years from almost nothing to become the champions and cup holders of the Southern League. But by half-time, they still haven't scored in this match, and straight away, Bolton are out for more. Ah, there's a foul. That gives Bolton a free kick. Harry takes it, and Moyer is there to crack it in. Bolton three, Headington still no score. Now Bolton begin to sense trouble as Headington put on the pressure. Peart takes a knock from Bolton's Hanson. He didn't much care for that. Anyway, it's a corner to Headington, and goalie Hanson has his work cut out to keep the net safe. Now Headington go flat out. They're after a goal this time, and no mistake. Over to Peart. And he shot nearly burst the net. 3-1 now. Headington are still full of fight. Right away, the home team are on the offensive. Swinging into action, Bolton's parry passes to Stevens. A short dribble, then a shot, and Bolton are four up. A free kick soon gives Bolton another chance. An easy save, but Bolton, with Banks going great guns, are soon back for more. At last, Headington get it, and a long clearance upfield reaches Smith. A goal all the way. 4-2 it is, and 4-2 it stays up to the finish. Headington, a great-hearted team, go down fighting to Bolton Wanderers.